Good morning, it's Friday, the 31st of March, and as usual on a Friday, condense more coffee. If you have your Bibles, turn to Romans 16, verse 20, Romanus 16, verse 20. And actually, um, this is the last chapter of Romans, and Paul's coming to the end just before the greetings. He says a very interesting thing in line with what we said yesterday about the Lord working in conjunction with us and saying to us, uh, he's given us the land, he's given us so many promises, but we need to walk every place in which our foot is trod, he has given to us. We need to, we need to do the standing up and the getting out and the doing. And here he's saying an interesting thing in the context of avoiding divisive and argumentative people, people who bring divisions in the body, people who uh, cause splits and arguments unnecessarily. And it's all about themselves. So it's about the the nature of Satan in some people that, you know, when, when Peter uh, says to Jesus, you, I won't allow you to go and be crucified. I won't allow you to. And he says, get thee behind me, Satan. He's not calling Peter Satan. He's saying, you're thinking now like the devil. You're in your thought process. You're preventing people from living out and doing the will of God. Now, in that context of divisiveness and causing splits and uh, uh, breaking up the unity of the body of Christ in the church, listen to what he says in chapter 16, verse 20. And the God of peace will crush Satan under your feet shortly. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. What strikes me there is the choice of words that Paul uses. And the God of peace, the God who wants to restore harmony, the God who brings the peace. The I remember the word shalom in the Old Testament, but but the word for peace is in the, in, the, in the Hebrew context, is not just the absence of strife and the absence of war and of conflict, but it's when you're living out the fullness of your reason for existence. So to be at peace is to be optimally utilized. And he's saying here in the context, and the God of peace, the God who, who brings order to life, the God who brings the best out in you, the God who wants to help you to function optimally in every day, will crush Satan under your feet shortly. Now, peace crush. Um, maybe the God of war or almighty God or God our victor, God our warrior, but the God of peace will crush Satan under your feet shortly. Make sure that in your spirit, as you have to do with decisive, divisive people, Mense wat um, dwaas trek. Mense wat argumenteer net vir die argument onthalwe. Uh, mense wat daarvan hou om een uh, story of een situasie net te toos, net om uh, te veroorzaak dat mense nie rustig en in vrede is, maar mense wat net uh, ja, die vermoe het om om jou dag en jou dade te kom omkrap, net om bykie onmin te saai, net vir die wil en uh, net vir die, just for the sake of it. Um, oppas dat jy nie ook opstaan en op die verkeerde manier, manier uh, Satan die oor aan gee en jou gedagtes laat gaan na die, ach, ek gaan jou in jou plek sit, ek gaan jou recht sien, ek gaan jou uithaal, ek gaan jou seer maak, soos wat jy nou hier, hierdie situasie kom omkrap, gaan ek jou, be careful that, that you don't fall into the trap of rising to the bait, of becoming just as divisive, and destructive, and in the process, you add to the breakdown of the unity, in the body, in the church, in the, relationships that you're in, the work, the wherever. So, and the God of peace 
the God who, who wants to restore order and bring the best out in all of us, will crush Satan under your feet shortly. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And that's my prayer. As we go into this weekend, and remember this Sunday is Palm Sunday, Palm Sondag, the entry of Christ, the victor, the King, the Messiah, into the city of Jerusalem and into your heart, into my heart. Let's remind ourselves that he is the King who's always in control, who deserves our worship and loves us so much. That's why he comes into your life. That's why he comes into your heart. That's why uh, the God of peace will crush Satan under your feet shortly in the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. May you know the grace and the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ and seek out fellowship this Sunday. Don't avoid getting together as the body of Christ. Don't break down the unity. Don't find excuses not to attend. Get to a service. Get to the body of Christ and be the difference that God wants you to be. Crush the Satan that would so easily rise. That wrong thinking, that, that thinking against the heartbeat of God in you. Crush it under your feet, even as God allows you to do that. Have a wonderful, wonderful Friday and weekend, Lord willing. See you Monday morning again.